All right, so we are going to flow test some old truck injectors. Uh, I wrote a program that goes down to 25 milliseconds because I'm using an old ass relay, and it really won't click much faster than that. So until I get a solid state relay that can go down to a couple milliseconds, uh, we're just going to try this one out. Uh, it's 50% duty cycle, and it runs for 20 seconds, so I get 10 seconds of flow. And then I'll have to multiply that by 6 to get the cc's a minute, and this is a stock LS truck regulator, so it is 4 bar, 58 PSI. So we're going to go ahead and flow these truck injectors. We'll take the result, multiply it by 6, and that should give us the cc a minute at 4 bar. Looks like they all ended up right around 40, 40 cc's after 10 seconds. So that's 240 cc's a minute. They all came in very, very close. That one might be 39. Alright, so I don't know if this is going to focus too well. Apparently not. Oh, there you go. You can see the two little holes in the pedal cap. And that is what determines the flow and spray pattern on these injectors, so you cut them off. Come on now. You cut them off and you get pretty much unrestricted flow. So, start with an injector. Still has the cap on the end, you can see the two holes in it. Take the O-ring off first. No rings off. You have this little black cap. Channel locks. Wiggle back and forth. Pops right off there. Clean this up a little bit. And there you can see that ring. It's the weld. Now we're just going to grind this. We're going to hold it against the grinding wheel and spin it around until the cap flies off. Now try not to touch the very center because that's where the ball is. You don't want to tear that up. So I'll zoom in a little bit here. Stopped at the show. Cap on this one. It's starting to come off. So you basically just want to grind all of that weld that you can see and then keep grinding around in the same spot until the cap comes off. You don't want to grind right in the middle though. So we'll go ahead and finish this one off. There's your decapped injector. So this one's all set. All you have to do, first you put the O-ring back on. 
And then your cap, sometimes they'll snap on by hand. If not, get them centered on there and then just tap the face of it against the workbench. One good time. And this one's ready to go. So I'm only going to do four of them. That way I can do a direct comparison between capped and uncapped. Alright, we're all ready to go. The close side has the uncapped injectors. The far side has the stock injectors with the caps still on them. So I'll pull all eight of them out. I'll put them side by side so we can look at the difference afterwards. Uh, Alright, here goes nothing. There's a huge, huge difference. The other side should have been 40cc. These, if you look, zoom in. Uh, there is a little bit of variation here. That one's only 100 and 130, 135. 137 this one uh, apparently the gasoline wipes all the readings right off these that one about 134 let's get these all out and laid out here alright that's before and after decapping there's a major difference there. It's probably close to three times as much. The uh, injectors with the caps still on them. I'll zoom in so you can see the difference between the two here. The injectors with the caps still on them. Float about 38 cc's in 10 seconds. So we'll multiply that by six and we get 228 cc's a minute, which is exactly what the manufacturer said these flow. And then the uncapped ones, that looks like about, we'll say 129 cc's in 10 seconds. So you multiply that by 6 and you get 774 cc's a minute. Which that is about a 75 pound injector.